Here are also some simple tips for the spaces. How do we name the spaces? We said that our first space is an F, and then we have an A, and then we have a C, and then we have an E. These are just spaces. We did the lines on the previous lesson. So, this is very simple. You just write the word face so that you can remember the tips on how to locate the, the letter names on this stuff for the treble clef. When we come down here to the bass clef or F clef, we, we, we also have the same, same thing. We have our first space as an A, the second one as a C, the third one as an E, and the fourth one as a G. So what do we say? We say, all cows eat grass. All cows eat grass. If you get such simple tips, it will be very simple for you to be able to, to name the lines and spaces. Remember, those letter names are permanent as per the clef. As per the clef. This F will remain there as an F. It cannot change its position from here to here. No, 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 no. For this case, for this clef, that is where you have your F. For this clef, that is where you have your G. So, if you can be able to get all those letter names as per the clef, as per the lines and spaces, then writing music on a, on a staff will be very easy. Because in the previous, in the uh, future lessons, that is what we are going to be doing. We are going to be taking one key, maybe the key of C, and then we start writing our music. First and foremost, it is good to internalize all this so that the life ahead will be very simple. Thank you.